out. But I, I am I am recording for YouTube as well because I like to have content on there. And um, yeah, so y'all watching on the tube, just make sure that you subscribe to my channel, okay? And I'm doing this training for my team. I usually do it for my team and then I share over here, okay? Um, so I am addressing the winners, but you guys get to be involved. Um, so I wanted to come on here and I wanted to talk to you guys about cash flow. Now, what prompted this video was, um, let me see if I can put it over here a little bit. What prompted this video was I was watching um, Ree's video. Y'all know Lorena Pruitt. She did a training on here on, on Saturday. She's also a part of our le leadership team. She actually did a training and um, it was on her team page though. And she was talking about how when she first started, that I actually, I think she was on a live and she was like talking about the opportunity or something of that nature. And I actually commented and I told her, I was like, why don't you do a report and see how much um, money you made, right? And to her surprise, she ran a report and in that 30 days, she could not, or not even that 30 days, I think it was the time that she has been in a business, she could not believe she made so much money. And so I just want to encourage you guys that when you're operating your business to monitor your cash flow so you know what's going on. Because a lot of times we get so caught up in, you know, running our business that we don't stop to take a look like we just get... You know, because people be like, I got to get my hustle. I got to get my grind. I don't even use those words, though. But I'm saying this is what people say a lot of times, that they're like so involved and so making this money that they don't even stop to really smell the roses, if you will, or to take a look and see how they're really doing. So I'm just going to talk about um, just things that, you know, I've done to kind of keep track of things as well as what I'm doing now. What is up, Beto? Oh, and so at this moment, if you guys can um, tag your teams in by adding them. Um, in the comments, that will be really good. If you have an accountability partner, you know, tag them in. Um, if you, if there's someone that you usually, you know, connect with or see on the team page posting and communicating or whatever, tag them in as well. And just let me put a disclaimer, like I just got through um, working out. And so I literally like ate and then I was like, let me do this video because um, the rest of my week is going to be pretty busy. So I wanted to get a video in um, and then, you know, we'll schedule a Zoom later as well. Matter of fact, let me put my, um, let me open my iPad so that I can see ongoing comments because sometimes when I'm live on my uh, cell, on my mobile devices, um, I can't always see stuff. So let me do that and then we're going to get started. Uno, mo, me, to, ooh, it's always loud like that. All right, so happy Tuesday to you. What's up, Lisa? Hello, y'all. Um, Okay, so what I want to talk about. So, and like just a little background on me. Um, I worked, I was in um, accounting. That was my occupation for over 15 years before I even um. I guess, yeah, before I even came into paparazzi, I've done things like um, senior accountant, junior accountant, accounts payable clerk, accounts receivable clerk, accounts payable supervisor, like all those different things. Um, and actually, when I started college, I my major was music because, you know, I like to sing and all that kind of stuff. Thought I was going to be like this, like superstar, whatnot. You never know, though. But anyway, and so my major was music. And then I started hearing about a lot of um, a lot of artists like going bankrupt or people like uh, misusing their money or them not understanding about managing money. Right. And so then I started taking courses in management. Um, I changed my major to management. And then within having my major as management, I had to take a lot of accounting courses. And then within me taking these accounting courses, I recognized that I had a love for numbers. Not necessarily algebra, if you will, but like the accounting formulas and profit loss and balance sheet and all that kind of stuff. I, I really enjoyed it. And so I ended up taking a job years ago as like an office clerk, but they just used that title to get me in because they didn't want to pay the money for accounting. But that's how I got into accounting. And then I was like, I really like this. And so I learned as much as I could. And then I applied for a job that was actually in accounting. And then I just kind of excelled from that point on. And that's how I got into it. So I said all that to say that, um, 
I really do enjoy looking at numbers. And so I know that not everyone does that, but by me being a numbers person, I like to look at how much money I make like in a week or how much money I make in a month or whatever. So I always encourage my team, um, which is you guys, I always encourage you, especially my personally sponsored when we have these like one-on-ones or when we, you know, have discussions, it's like, make sure, like, look at what you're making because guess what? It may surprise you. It may surprise you one of two ways. It could surprise you because you totally made more than what you even thought you were doing, or it can surprise you because you're not making what you desire to make. Either way, it is good to be aware of how much money you are making because in this business, we're constantly investing, right? And one thing about it is we don't want to invest without a return. You understand what I'm saying? When you invest your finances in anything, you invest with the intention of getting a return, correct? Like y'all make an investment because you want money back, right? You're not just like, you know what I'm saying? Just giving money away, right? Like you're investing because you want a return on investment and we call that ROI, which is a return on investment. We want a return on investment. And so a couple of people in the business, some of them not even in the business any longer. And that's okay because you gotta you gotta decide what is best for you and move on it. You know what I'm saying? And, and go with the flow. You don't ever wanna be in something that you don't love or don't have an interest in because then it'll just seem real tedious all the time. You know what I mean? So anyway, there were a couple of my personally sponsors who literally made like 1600 1400 like in their first 30 days of the business and they had no idea. They were just working the business, doing what they love. And I was like, run a report and see how much money you made. And they were like, oh my gosh, I made like 1600 or oh my gosh, I made 1400. And so it's always good to have an idea of where you are. Whether you monitor your business every 30 days, whether you monitor your business every 60 days, or whether you monitor your business every quarter. It's really good to do that. And um, so I would always look at the snapshot in Shopify, right? When I had Square, I would do it in Square. But I always like to look at how much I make. Y'all, I promise, it's probably like a daily thing. What's up, JoJo? What's up, Shanika? It's probably like a daily thing. Whenever I open up my Shopify or whenever I get a sale or whenever I go live, just every day, okay? Because I get notifications every day. We make money, money every day over here. Like, it's not just a saying. Like, it's real talk. Like, it's real talk and it's real life, okay? And so whenever I do that and I go into my um my Shopify, I cannot help but to look at the like y'all know if you go on Shopify, you can see your today's sales, you can see yesterday's sales, you can see this week's sales. You see how I know about heart? You can see this week's sales and you can see your sales by the month. And then you can go into analytics and you can run a whole report for the whole month. And so I love to do that because it keeps me on track. Um, Like it helps me set goals. Because here's the thing. How do you know where you going if you don't know where you are, right? It's like you could say, oh, I want to make $1,000 in a month or, oh, I want to make $5,000 in a month, right? But like you don't even know. Like what if you're saying that you want to do that and you've already done it and you don't even know? So then like basically if you're setting goals to make like a thousand a month and you already did that, but you weren't even aware that you did that, like you're, you're really not setting goals at your level. Like you've already achieved that. It's time to up your goals. So me looking at how much I made, where my life of the party is, all these different things, it helps me stay on track for where I'm trying to go, right? If I only make, like like my goal is to literally make a minimum of $20,000 a month, okay? So I start looking at where I am weekly, where I am monthly, and then it lets me know, hey, well, all you gotta do is sell like this many more pieces, or you could do maybe an additional live or da-da-da-da-da. It kind of gives you an idea of what to do. And so how many of you guys actually monitor your sales like monthly or weekly? I'm just curious. What's up, K Boogie? Hey, Vanessa. I'm just curious how many of you guys monitor your sales. And then um, 
So as I wait for you guys to comment, so I monitor that throughout the week, right? But I will be honest with you guys. I was not like, just how I've done for other people's businesses, and put that back, that's all up in my grill. Just how I've done other people's businesses where I monitor their their um, profit and all that kind of stuff like every single month and then every quarter we did like a full breakdown and all that. I was not doing the breakdown with my business until the end of the year. I was literally calculating all of my expenses. I'm talking uh, paparazzi orders. I'm talking um, expenses, you know, how I paid this and that for the business or or the supplies I bought for their business, the qu equipment I bought for the business, all these different things. I literally was doing that at the end of the year. And that's when I was really finding out the full profit of the year. Well, me, I know better than that, especially at the end of the year. I, I, I Having to pull all that stuff together and put it in Excel and do all that. I knew that I needed to get an accounting um, software system, but I was just lollygagging on it. I knew better. You guys monitor weekly. Did you say it's a snapshot in Square? Um, In Square, there's like a right when you invoice, it shows you how much you made within that 30 days. So when I did use Square and I was invoicing, I would look at that number because it would say the last money you made within the last 30 days and the outstanding amount you have or whatever. That's what I, the snapshot I'm talking about from Square. Um, it's right when you open to invoice or whenever you receive money. So that's what I was talking about in Square. But when it comes to Shopify, you can literally see your sales today, yesterday, the week, and the month. Absolutely love it because it also lets me know if I'm on track. I can look at it weekly and then I can see where I am midweek and, you know, mid-month or whatever. Not midweek, mid-month. So it really helps out. So anyway, what I just implemented in my business. I First of all, I was supposed to implement this last year. Now, I'm not telling y'all to do this, but what I am telling y'all is to keep track of your stuff so that you know how much you're making, so that you know where you need to be. Like, let's say if you want to make $1,000 and you made $100 right now, and it's like the 20th and you your goal was to make a thousand if you're not keeping track how do you know how much more you need to go how do you know well dang okay i need to sell this many more pieces i feel like when you are knowledgeable of where you are you can be more intentional if that makes sense what's up jackie you can be more intentional if that makes sense so for instance if I know that I want to make 20000 in a month, okay, mid-month, I need to be at like 10 k right? Or like if I'm not where I want to be, then maybe I need to up my lives or maybe I need to up posts because it's not always about the live. Maybe I just need to put a reel out. Maybe I need to post a selfie. Maybe I need to um do like a little um 10 and 10 or do like a little wall drop or do something to activate sales because the truth of the matter is if we show the stuff, the show the product we put ourselves out there we're gonna make money we're gonna make money um hey hey debbie how are you and so last year what i desired to do but you guys don't necessarily have to do this in the software that i'm about to tell you but you could do this in excel right and i have an excel spreadsheet um in the files of the team page of what I use um, to, it doesn't really have a space for income, but it does have a space for all the expenses, be it equipment, be it shipping supplies, all that. So you don't necessarily have to use this system, but I'm gonna tell you about what I just started. And I endeavored to do this last year and I did not. And then what's up, K-Boogie? And then at the end of the year again, cause now I'm prepping for like last year, right? And I'm like, I told myself that I was going to get this started. So anyway, so I implemented QuickBooks. Now, QuickBooks is a software that I used to use when I was um, working for, you know, when I was in corporate America. QuickBooks is super simple, but now it's even more simplified because everything is mobile. So I basically pay like $24.99 a month. Now, I'm telling you, you do not have to do this. One reason I decided to do QuickBooks is because I have more than one business. And so... QuickBooks allows me to have, if you guys know what chart of accounts are, it allows me to have charts of account. So it allows me to have, you know, shipping supplies and equipment and stuff like that. But it allows me to break it down per, you know, company so that the charges can be allocated to each company. But you guys can do this with your... Um, you know, with, with Excel, but I encourage you guys like, cause I was looking at it and I was like, Oh, so that's how much I spent. Like I have a virtual assistant and graphic designer and different things like that. And I'm like, Oh, okay. I spent that. So it kind of keeps it 
ever before me so that I can break down. Sorry, okay. No, nah, girl, that? nah. Siri always be trying to talk when I'm talking. But um, but it breaks it down so that I know what's going on, so that I know how much money I'm making. So I want you guys to know that as far as you know, even your cash flow, like calculate your expenses all throughout the year so that when the end of the year comes it's not super like overwhelming and your stuff is already together be it quickbooks or be it an excel spreadsheet then you can kind of you you can kind of see what you're doing you can see if maybe you need to put yourself on a budget as far as the pieces you buy now granted in the very beginning of your business it's always going to be kind of upside down, okay? You're going to start off in the red, right? Because you're building your store. You're building your store and you don't have any inventory. So in the beginning, it's going to feel like, oh my God, I'm spending like all this money and I'm not making any money yet. Like not as much as I'm spending because there will be times where I was like, okay, I spent like 500 this week and I only made 250. Like that's not matching up. But it doesn't always have to match up. But what you need to know, like if anything else, by me spending that money and seeing where I was, it made me go in harder because I knew that I spent 500 and I'm like, I only made 250. Okay, let me post some pictures. Let me post a selfie. And a lot of times what I'll do to spark sales as well is if I know that I have a piece of jewelry that I have like a lot of that I wasn't expecting to have that many. Like for instance, I bought a piece. It was like, I bought 30 pieces one time. This is a couple years ago. I'm like, I knew this was going to sell. I knew it was going to sell. And I went live. And I sold one. And I was like, what's the matter with this picture, right? And so what I do with items that don't move as quick, I wear them. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, when you wear your product, this is why I tell people too, don't just like throw stuff on. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's not like I'm totally chill today and there's nothing wrong. Like if I wanted to do a live, I could totally do that. But that's just not my MO. Whenever I do a live, I want people to look at me and be like, oh my gosh, I never thought to pair it that way. Or oh my gosh, you put that together. Or, oh my gosh, you layered that. Or oh my goodness, you did. You understand what I'm saying? So that's how I would move stuff. But my main reason for coming on here was for telling you guys, keep track of what you're doing so you know where you are at all times. Um, you honestly think you're spending more than what I make? You probably, but Kathy, you've been in this business, um, you've been in this business, what, a little over a year? That's normal. I'm going to tell you, it was quite a few months before I actually started like breaking even. And then two, it depends on your level of, um, aggressiveness, if I'll say, and I always use a 401k as an analogy, right? Because in a 401k, you can, you can be aggressive or you can be conservative. And I always tell people that when I started this business, I was extremely aggressive. I was aggressive and my main goal was to spend at least $100 a day. That's what I wanted to do. So in the very beginning, you have to look at it like this too. There are people that are in business, let me look at these comments. There are people that are in business that, um, you know, with a brick and mortar, they don't even make a profit for like four or five years. So the fact that you can turn over a profit very quick in paparazzi, it's amazing. But the thing is, you have to utilize the tools that are there for you that will help you be aggressive, right? So a couple of tools, and I know this is about cash flow, but you know how I give y'all goulash. If, when it comes to my mind, I'm going to give it to you. So one of the things that helped me work my business as a, at an accelerated pace once I learned, because mind you, I was only doing videos once a week and I was only doing like an hour right? So then my customer started wanting me to come on longer. So I will tell you that as I began to go live longer, 
I began to make more money because now I'm on longer. It gives it gives people a chance to find me, right? Because how many times have you been on Facebook and you got a notification that somebody was live and it said like 30, 40 minutes ago and then you go to click on it and then they're gone. So it's like by the time Facebook decides that they want to send out a notification, like they are already gone. So one thing I noticed that even people that clicked on and clicked away, they would still see me live and be like, hold up. And they will come back in just because I'm still on. And so I started doing longer lives and started making more money. But I was about to tell y'all something too. And it totally slipped my mind, but it'll come back to me. Let me read this comment real quick. Um, uh, do, do, do. You can do that on an Excel spreadsheet. You can absolutely do that on, a, on an Excel spreadsheet. My goal is not to tell y'all to, oh, go get QuickBooks and spend more money. That's a whole $25 a month. But that's something that I needed to do so I can separate out my businesses and I can see stuff ever before me. And it's just going to help me at the end of the year, especially if, you know, say we're going for a, a new house or something like that. And they're like, we need a profit loss statement because when you are self-employed and there's no W-2s, they want profit loss statements. They want bank accounts. They want your, your accounting, if you will. And so this is just going to put me in a position to have that information at my fingertips without like having it in like an Excel spreadsheet. It's like literally like it'll generate a report for me. So for me, this is something that I needed to do. Um, you honestly think, oh, I saw that. You need to know how to be able to make this work for me as to even pay a bill. I'm not there yet. I'm telling you, as you, oh, so this is what I was going to tell you guys. Um, one way that I also ended up making money. What is up, Kamanita? Another way that I aggressively invested in this business was I learned the power of fashion fix and the power of life of the party. Okay. And one thing I learned was that the one thing about us and, and uh, us purchasing inventory, right? It's like when we do new releases, it's basically our, our style and, and what we, what's, what's appealing to to our eye or what we think that our customers will like, right? That's what it's based on when we purchase new releases. We don't really know, what's up, Jen? We don't know if it's going to sell. We're just basing it off of our taste and what we believe to be the taste of our customers um, as well as historic data, right? So if this piece performed really good um, in, uh, in a, another color before, I'm going to buy more, right? So that's how we do with new releases. You don't know what to expect from new releases. However, in Fashion Fix and Life of the Party, that's one reason. If you're not on Life of the Party, I encourage you to go for Life of the Party. So if that means you have to sell more so that you can buy more to get Life of the Party, I encourage you to do so. At least get Life of the Party Bronze because it gets you in the door. So these two programs, they literally allow us to see what to like, um, what is that when people kind of... um. I forget what it's a focus group. It kind of allows us to use our customers as a focus group, if you will, right? Because we haven't made any purchases yet. We're just showing them pieces like fashion fix sets and life of the party. We're showing them first. So we're able to get a tally to see how this product will move. And so that I actually was able, and it took me a minute to get to the point where I would literally like buy 50 or 30 or whatever of a piece because I was like, yo, that's like all of all them fashion fig pieces that add and that adds up. All those life of the party, it's like five of them. You get 50 of them. That's like 250 pieces or whatever, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. So anyway, like my brain. But anyway, so it's like, I was like, dang, spending that kind of money, Excuse me. I remember when I spent my first thousand dollars on a purchase when I was getting life of the party or whatever. But the thing is, you're literally able to have like a focus group. So you're literally able, literally is the word of the day. So you're able to know what they want. So you can literally plan to make that money. So that will cause my sales to spike up twice a month. It will spike up twice a month, you know what I'm saying? I would be, my PV would spike up because I'm placing these orders based on what they tell me they like. So if you are not using Fashion Fix and Life of the Party to like catapult your business to the next level, don't sit on it. Do not sit on it. That is what I do. Now, granted, 
Um, I always, because see, here's the thing. It's like, I don't want to leave any money on the table. So if I know that I can get 50 pieces and I know that there's 30 customers that actually want to pre-claim those pieces, I'm going to get extra as well because that's just the people that pre-claim. That's not the people that are searching my website that they that want to buy that piece or that see me post that piece. Everybody is not always on my live, so there's also some for me to put on my website. So that boosts my sales, that boosts my um PV, and that's how I'm able to hit life of the party. Like I'm about to hit diamond. Um, last year we hit black diamond. Um, hey, Lord willing, if if you know the customers come through we'll hit it again, but we're definitely about to hit diamond. If not the end of this month, the beginning of next month. So that's another way that you can boost your sales and you got to look at it like this. That's the quickest way to get a return on your investment. With the new release, you don't necessarily know how that's going to, you know, vibe, how that's going to fall, how that's going to go with the customers. Cause you're like buying on impulse. You're like, Oh my gosh, let me get that. It's about to sell out. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. At least with Fashion Fix, we, we buy it on the 20th, right? We usually get it around the 25th. You have like 10 days to market that and see what your customers want and boost that cash flow. Same with Life of the Party. If you are Life of the Party Gold or above, you get those preview pieces. Or once we get the preview pieces, like I always share the stock photos and all, the, and, and um, JoJo will usually post Life of the Party pictures when she gets access to them and she gets access to them before I do. Usually I'm the one asking her, like, did you see them pictures yet? <laughs> right? And so at least you can like promote the pictures and begin to like, you know, kind of, you know, provoke some sales. Um it takes most businesses two years to start seeing a pro profit margins. Absolutely, Tanya. I was even saying that there's some businesses that don't even break even until four or five years. And that's why a lot of businesses don't make it past four or five years. But I guarantee you, y'all, if I was a betting woman, I would bet y'all that if you if you really intentionally work your business, there is no way that you will not see a profit. But what I... The, and so... This is another thing I learned. I'm going to read your comments too. This is another thing that I learned because you guys know I have never, um, I've always kind of like stayed in shape, but in my whole life, okay, I've never had like a personal trainer, if you will. And so I just started like working out with a personal trainer like about seven weeks ago. And one thing I'm learning that I can actually apply to life is that there's always levels, right? It's like, don't ever get comfortable where you are. Always look to grow because my trainer will literally say, okay, all right. So you, okay. So you got that. You're kind of comfortable with that. Nope. More weight. Nope. Another exercise. Nope. Another way to work your arms. Yep. We're working the same muscles, but doing a different way. Like he's always switching up. Like every time I go to him, it's like something new. So you don't have, you don't really have time to get comfortable and settle in what you're doing because then you're not really growing. So with your business, you have to constantly like assess your business, see where you are, see what you can do to improve. Like one thing for me, I implemented this, you know, QuickBooks, right? Because this is like kind of putting it right in my face because every time I make a purchase, you know, for expenses, like whether I buy shipping envelopes, whether I buy bubble wraps, whether I buy index cards, whatever I'm buying for the business, I'm tracking it, right? If I spend, I get my nails done or if I go buy a shirt or whatever the case may be, you could literally like take a picture of your receipt and put it into the system. You can you can do like a journal entry and enter that in right from your mobile device. So that is making me accountable because it's right in my face. I see that little that's that um that 30 day how much you spend on expenses. I see that because I and then now instead of me just looking at the end of the year of how much I purchased on jewelry. No, I'm going to start putting it into my QuickBooks every month like what I spend because every week would be a little tedious for me so I'm just gonna like do a snapshot every month to see where I am do I need to decline a little bit in purchases and spend more in selling or do I need to you know spend more in selling and then you, you get what I'm saying like assess your business always reevaluate um let me see what else. Hey, Dandrea, how are you? Some months for fashion fix are good. Them not so good. You hit bronze yesterday. Kathy, you got to tell me these things so I can so I can tell the team. 
Um, but yeah, so and and this is true. This is absolutely true. That is why when they drop the bomb stuff for Fashion Fix and Life of the Party, you got to like market it like don't miss a month. And if it's a little bit like even if it's not the best that month, you know, Fashion Fix, because some months are better than others. Let's just be honest. The thing is still promote it. Still let your customers know that I have exclusives exclusive items that everyone does not have could trust trust and believe your average consult your average customer is what i'm trying to say has probably two or three consultants okay because i like sometimes i'll just pop up on somebody's live because it just shows it to me and i'll see some of my customers so just make sure not to not to put you in fear or not to feel like it's a competition no you can shop wherever you want to i shop at different clothing stores you understand what i'm saying it doesn't mean that i love one the less like i'm gonna give y'all awesome love but just make sure that that you show up and make sure that you have those items so that your cash can can just just be flowing you know let me see um do 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 you're not giving up no definitely i have too much fun and to be honest with you even if i didn't sell the jewelry the way that i love this like five dollar bling i will be buying it up i'm just saying um yes congratulations hey del rio okay you went live longer than normal yesterday and had over 700 viewers Carolyn, wait a minute. Let me get my film film. That is amazing. I'm telling y'all, if you utilize the tools that we give y'all here on the team page on how to build your business, and y'all know I'm I come and I train you guys. We do Zoom meetings. Myri does Zoom every Wednesday at 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. She's been doing that for a few months, even when I haven't been consistent weekly. So there's so many different tools that you guys can utilize, and I'm telling you. That live feature in Facebook when you have a business page, that will also help you boost. It will get give you a boost. It will help you get out there. It will help your eyes get, you know, it will help people get put their eyes on you. But make sure that when people when people's eyes get put on you, make sure that you have the product. Make sure that your presentation is the bomb, y'all. I'm talking your background. I'm talking your the, the way you the way you look. I promise you that draws people. People have come into my lives just because of like they're like, oh, I saw your shirt, so I came in. Oh, I saw your makeup, so I came in. So trust and believe. People are looking. So if you just like, you know, what I'm saying, you just like, you know, womp womp, and you just you here's one piece, here's this, here's that. Like, don't expect a whole lot of people to come in and be kicking it with you. I'm just being real. What's up, Relisha, Rakita? I just can't help. I got to do that. Um, Absolutely, absolutely. Do you ever break up your fashion fix and life of the party sets to sell? All the time, Debbie. So this is the thing. So when I first, and I probably, I think that's what the next Zoom is going to be on. It's probably going to be on um, fashion fix sales and life of the party sales. So I could break it down to y'all and show y'all what I do. But I basically, when I get my fashion fix set, I put all five of them up for sale. They are able to buy them right away. I give them access to it right away. And just like, because the customers are like, well, I want to get it first. I want to get it first, right? If it's really, really popping. Because some of them, they don't move. Let, let's just be honest. But I will sell those first sets. And that's when I show, like I'll, I'll do that. I used to do just a separate live for Life of the Party or a separate live for Fashion Fix. Now I'll kind of incorporate it into my lives depending on if that week is really busy for me. If I can fit a separate live in just to showcase those items, I will do that. But if not, I'll incorporate it into my standard lives, right? And then I'll showcase them. And then I'll also accept pre-claims during that time so that I know who's all interested. And then anyone watching my replay, they see that I showed the fashion fix. And then so when, when it's time to order fashion fix, I can literally place my order with fashion fix and I can use the quick ad feature. I always use the quick ad feature and that's how I'm able to get it right the, lately these days and life of the party to praise the Lord. Okay. So I use the quick ad feature and, um, and I also, um, you know, I get pre claims from my customers, right? I put it out there, right? I let them know what's available and give them time, right? Do pre claims, but comment so helps me with that tremendously. It's amazing rather than me posting on Facebook and getting, you know, comments and all that. But if that's what you got to do right now, do that because that's how I started with it as well. Um, let's see. So I answered your question, Debbie. I definitely, oh, so what I was saying was I'll sell the set, but I'll also show them individually and I'll let my customers know that they can 
can buy it individually should they so choose because here's the truth about it. I actually, she's on the team now, but I actually had um, someone that was a, a customer first before she became a team member. She told me that, you know, she has her neck is thicker so she uh, she leans towards longer necklaces so therefore if i'm just so showing a set but the necklace is not really long she doesn't really want all that she might just want the earrings and the ring because that's what she can fit so you never want to force your customers into oh i'm buying this as a set oh you have to buy a set all the time now i do that in the very beginning because they are exclusive because at the time that i sell them they have not been released yet right Right? So I'm literally like, you have the option to get this unreleased set. So that's when I have them buy sets. But once I show that initial set, they can buy one ring if they want. They can buy one bracelet if they want. Because the truth of the matter is, a lot of times they're sets that I just want the earrings and like I break it up myself. So how, how dare I be like, you can't break it up, you got to get the whole set. No, people are always able to break up anything that I have and get individual pieces. Um, today is your one year anniversary. Happy anniversary to you. <laughs> um, same here. You love it. Are there any questions? I'm actually going to, um, I don't want to make this like too long, but I think that our next, if, and if you guys have ideas, now's the time I'm gonna take them down too, but I'm going to do a zoom meeting. Sorry, YouTube folks. This is actually for the team. I do zoom meetings for my team. So my apologies, but I'm actually going to do a Zoom meeting on um, Fashion Fix and Life of the Party. If you want me to show you how I do it, I can even talk to you guys about how I used to do it before comments sold and then post comments sold, right? Um, popping in real quick, still working. What's up, Seal? Congratulations on working from home, though. You bought all the paparazzi jewelry before becoming con a consultant. The jewelry sells itself. You, you got that right. Presentation is everything, absolutely. And I'm not saying you got to beat your whole face. You got to put on these lashes or nothing like that. But what I am saying is, you know what I'm saying? Moisturize your face. Put some oil on your cuticles, right? Have your nails done. Not saying you got to go get them done, but put on some press-ons or paint them or put some clear polish or, excuse me, do something to where you look professional because not only are you know you selling this jewelry but you're representing your brand right i want when people look at me i want them to see my brand as professional as clean as groomed as as um you know she she's a lady like she's you know she's edgy like she's 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 chic she's elegant like there's just a there's an image that i want my to be portrayed with my brand and so i keep that in mind every time i get dressed do i always feel like getting up and getting dressed and doing a live and doing this whole preparation thing absolutely not who feels like doing that all the time but i will tell you that after i do it i feel all cute and stuff and then i'll be like i'm gonna do a tiktok i'm gonna do a reel like my whole thing is if i'm getting ready for this whole presentation Baby, we're going to make it count on so many levels. I'm going to get a picture out of it. I'm going to get a reel out of it. I'm going to get a TikTok out of it. I'm going to go live. I'm going to make sales. They can watch the replay. Like, there's so many different things that can come out of that. Like, be, be as productive as you can, right? Multitask. Use that video for things. You can even take different things, different clips of your live video and make a reel or make a... um. TikTok, let these, let these, uh, let these social media companies advertise for you. Use a certain sound that's popular and then let it push you. Cause I wasn't even really monitoring my CK Jules TikTok that much. And like, I went back and I had a couple hundred followers and a couple videos that had like 3000 views. And I'm like, well, I didn't even know you understand what I'm saying. But it's just that I'm consistent with posting different things. And so Jen says she's still at work. No problem. Your call, your customers are always looking at your appearance, right? You know what I'm saying? Make sure if you do wear lashes, they on properly, okay? You know what I'm saying? If you don't, put your mascara on, make it pop. Put a little lip gloss on, right? Switch it up on them sometimes. Give them a little evening, you know, evening night on a town or something. Give them like an edgy casual day. Give them like a Run DMC day where you got like Adidas and a chain or something. Like you rock the men's necklaces. I'm just giving you guys ideas to switch it up. I know in the elite group um michelle johnny she actually posted a video where she actually had a wig like you guys know summer from the elite um 
the elite services, you know, she's, she's on the staff, but she's over elite services. So she's kind of like our team leader. So yeah, I make it count, Carolyn, basically, pretty basically. Okay. Um, anyway, so Summer has like this edgy hairstyle with her hair to the side and the side shave, kind of like how I do. Can't wait till mine get longer though. But anyway, so she has this like edgy vibe, right? So this girl, uh, Michelle Johnny actually got a wig where the sides are low and it hangs over and she wore her wig on the live and was like summer, summer vibes or whatever. And so they really like that so it just kind of switches it up so sometimes i do like this evening smoky or, or i just do something where they're like where are you going girl girl i'm coming to kick it with y'all i just felt like being fly you know so switch it up so people just don't get comfortable like oh well, i'll just yeah i'll catch the next live because i see always on there and i do this nah make them make them not make them give them give them uh what they call it fomo <laughs> fear of missing out okay so are there any other ideas hey Rhonda. Are there any other ideas that you guys want me to train on? I do want to train. I, I do want to do a, a Zoom training on Fashion Fix as well as, um, what I say? Life of the Party Sales. But um, let me know anything else and I'll write it down right now. And then we'll probably have to do it for next week because this week I actually have a full day. Whew, child. I got a full day tomorrow, Thursday, and then my live is Friday. And then I actually have something to do Saturday. So it's, it's definitely a full week. So we can look for um, planning to do uh, a Zoom or something next week. But let me know. She, I think you were trying to say great idea, Karen. You said green idea. Yes, green. All right. Make you that money, honey. <laughs> Did they say anything about convention? Um, So Kathy... The elites, they're never going to tell us about convention. They never give us a heads up on convention. When convention happens, everybody finds out at the same time. So I have no idea. We will um, we'll find out. Like, And you know what I want to say, um, Deborah? What's up, Deborah? What I want to say when you say give them a show. I mean, I, I don't... So when I do a live, my main goal is not entertaining. But it does end up being entertaining. But I think that's because I just be myself. Like, I just have fun, right? So let your hair down. Don't be afraid to be you. They are there for you. They do want the jewelry. But here's the thing. There are almost 500,000 paparazzi consultants. So literally, they can go to anyone else. So if they're on your live be you, be the best you that you can be because nobody else can be you better than you. And so I guess I'm entertaining. <laughs> and so it ends up being a show. But what I do bring is I bring it when it comes to the jewelry. I prep for my lives. I put sets together that are banging. I curate sets. I don't just say, well, I'm just going to pick up some random jewelry in here. Here you go. Here you go. No, I plan and my customers know that I plan and they love the fact that I prepare for them. And, but they get that once a week. Okay. Okay. So I don't, I only do the hardcore prepping that takes me, you know, a few hours. I do the hardcore prepping and I already told y'all how I do that. I did a video, but I do that one day a week. Then I do bin shopping and I love doing bin shopping because that's another way to move out old pieces that I've had for a minute. That's another way for me to go through my inventory and find out, oh my gosh, this will go with this. This will go with that because it gets, it kind of reunites me with my older pieces. So anyway, guys, I'm waiting on you to give me some other topics before I head out because I'm about to head out now. We've been on for a minute. But if there are any other topics that you guys want a, a detailed training on, let me know so that we can do a Zoom on it or I can even go live here. But I really enjoy doing the Zooms with you guys because I enjoy your feedback because nine times out of 10, you guys say stuff that kind of just ignites this old brain and it makes me pour more. Um, you love to have fun and lots of conversation with your customers. Absolutely. But always command control of the live, right? Don't get so caught up in conversations to where you're not moving your jewelry, right? Because because you could easily go there. We could get on a topic and then I just stop and not. And I have to be like, hold up, hold up. Let me, let me show some jewelry. Like I can bring it back, bring it back in, bring it back in. So just make sure that it's a balanced live as well. And so I'm giving y'all a minute because I want to make sure, because listen, I need y'all to give me ideas. I need y'all to tell me, like if you have a team, what are your team members asking you? What, and that goes for you guys on YouTube too. Give me information, give me different things that um that you guys want to see me talk about maybe if you have a team different things that they are um that they're asking you to train on or, or that they don't understand or that they want insight to 
I would love to talk about it. Listen, I am all in the business of helping people, okay? I am. I'm definitely into the business of helping people. And you don't necessarily have to be on my team, but I'm also going to say that with, you know, uh, to let you guys know that when it comes to YouTube, I'm all for helping you guys on this platform, not necessarily like, you know, inboxing, if you will, because I have a team of over a thousand people that I kind of, you know, devote my time to first. Um, absolutely, Debbie. So yeah, like for real, like y'all don't have, wait a minute. Hold on. Y'all don't have no... Like, okay, maybe it's going to be for the replay or something. Because I just can't believe that you guys don't have any topics that you guys want to discuss. So if y'all don't have any topics y'all want to discuss, that means business is popping. That means you got it in the bag. That means that you are constantly improving. That means that you're, you're all good and you got all the information you need. Is that what that means? Because I want y'all to tell me. Like, legit. Do not be afraid to speak up no a suggestion or question is dumb or stupid. I feel like the only one that just does not make sense is the thing that you do not mention, the question that you do not ask, right? Because it, because how how do people know to help you if you don't like put it out there what you need? Like I, in class, I was the first one like raise my hand. Yep, I got because half of the class be wanting to ask the question that you about to ask. They just too scared to do it. So be the one that helps everybody out and say something. So I'm gonna get off because I already been sitting. Um, um, building more customers. But I did a, you know what? I did a um video on that. I did a video on how to do it on your business page, and I talked about giveaways. But um, if we need to do a like a separate video on that where you can ask questions, I wouldn't matter. I mean, I wouldn't matter. I wouldn't mind doing that. But I have kind of addressed it. How to balance a full time job and working your business. So, um, Dandrea, I will tell you this. I've had businesses before and I've, um, I can't really tell you that based on paparazzi, but what I can tell you is I have had businesses, full-time job, um, three quarter time student, had children married and was fully active in the church like five days a week. So I can definitely tell you about balance from that standpoint, not necessarily from this business, but I can definitely talk about balance from that standpoint, if you will, because I'm still married 22 years, right? My kids, you know, they, they pretty, they pretty, they pretty awesome. And, um, yeah, like I got degrees and, and, you know, so what I'm saying is I was able to work it right. Um, so I definitely can do a video about it, but from that standpoint, if you will, um, you want to step out and do some events, go for it. Things are opening back up. I heard that like the mask mandate, they've kind of released that and stuff. So definitely, you know, do more events if you're comfortable with it. You were thinking of doing a pop-up in your garage, go for it. I say, go for it. Your screen keeps freezing. Yeah, definitely watch the replay. So, all right, we got stuff to go with. So, we will be doing a Zoom on Fashion Fix, Life of the Party, and then I'll come back and I'll try to record when I talk about balance and when I talk about building more customers for the YouTube. Okay, y'all? But anyway, YouTube, love y'all. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment below. Please don't inbox me, though, because I don't want to be overwhelmed, but comment below. Love y'all. Deuces.